cautions and contraindications. Ah, they may have an allergy to the ingredients. Uh, you know, Botox, I'm allergic to Botox. Uh, pregnancy, nursing mums, uh, there's no tried and tested formula. It's not been tested. Um, so we don't know one way or the other, but it's always nice to not do anything kind of invasive, especially if it's not been tried and tested. Um, an egg allergy, uh, some of the it's made from, you know, like albumin, uh, it's reconstituted from. So if they have an egg allergy, obviously there might be a slight contraindication. <coughs> Diffusion, obviously it's a, it's a diluted product when you inject it. So if you put a, a large volume in or if they move it or if they rub the area after they've had it, it will diffuse. So that's a slight caution rather than a contraindication. Ptosis, uh, ptosis is drooping. So you get eyelid ptosis uh, or you get eyebrow ptosis. That's obviously, it's normally due to, again, diffusion, incorrect technique. It's something that can be cautiously avoided. Okay. Um, so we talked about eyelid and eyebrow ptosis. Bleeding, yeah, we're injecting the skin. There are blood vessels just underneath the skin, so you know, the patient might bleed. Best way to stop it uh, bleeding is to just to compress it with a, a swab. You'll have a swab in one hand, the injection in the other hand. Press it for 10, 15 seconds and it should stop bleeding. Bruising. Unfortunately, if it bleeds, it'll bruise. So be aware of that. Again, compression. Uh, reassurance as well. If you've managed to create a bleed, just let them know. I've managed to cause a little, there's tiny blood vessels just underneath your skin. It might bleed. Obviously, it might bruise if there's a bruising tendency. So that will come up in the, the initial medical history, hopefully. Okay, another medication. Uh, there's another slide which I'll show you. It's mainly certain types of antibiotics uh, that will interfere with um, neuromuscular function and, and that sort of thing. Hi. And neuromuscular disorders, myasthenia gravis. Okay, and local infection. So if they're suffering from acute acne, not advisable to inject into that because you'll only be introducing that toxin, that infection underneath the skin. So perhaps wait until they've overcome that. Okay, yeah, is it safe? Well, like I said, it's got a long clinical history. Maximum dose for dystonia is 400 units. That's an awful lot. That's four bottles of Botox. You know, you're not going to give that in one, one city. Cosmetic dose is 24 units to 70.